the diverse primary source materials contained in Accessible Archives, Inc.'s online databases provide broad views across 200 years of American history and of the culture of the 18th and 19th centuries through full text searches and digital images. In this webinar, I'll provide a brief overview of Frank Leslie's weekly, show how Frank Leslie's can complement various subject disciplines and curricula, demonstrate our search screen and search capabilities, and discuss access plans for accessible archives. In 1855, Frank Leslie, who was born Henry Carter and legally changed his name to Frank Leslie, founded Frank Leslie's Illustrated Newspaper, America's first weekly illustrated newspaper. Because news illustrations were novel to journalism in America, they intrigued the public and stimulated sales of Frank Leslie's papers. By the middle of the second year, Frank Leslie's was successful enough to have created a host of imitators. Accessible Archives offers the only complete collection of Frank Leslie's weekly. Frank Leslie's Weekly furnished a weekly gallery of art in addition to current news. It brought together the genius of the pencil and the pen to illustrate the recorded events of the day promptly. News stories were normally illustrated within a couple of weeks of their occurrence. And in addition to news, there were features on music, the stage, fine arts, sports, and literature, including serial fiction. No other publisher could match Leslie's speed of production, and so he captured a market of both barely literate readers who appreciated having news presented in pictures and more sophisticated subscribers who appreciated his coverage of the arts and sports. Please note the variety of writers and illustrators who appeared in Frank Leslie's Weekly. Serialized stories from Louisa May Alcott can be found on the pages of Frank Leslie's. Norman Rockwell illustrated covers towards the end of the publication's run. Frank Leslie's Weekly provides another resource to view American cultural and social history, advertisements. The advertisements scan the range of emerging industries in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Advertisements allow the user to trace the technological advances over time. Changes in fashion and design, societal changes, and business history. Other ads relate to a variety of consumer goods, agricultural implements, transportation equipment, leisure and entertainment goods, medicines and other pharmaceuticals, such as hair tonic, toothpaste, marital aids, etc., and clothing, particularly women's garments. This is a short list of topics covered by Frank Leslie's Weekly. Additional topics include Native American life and culture along with the Indian Wars, Westward Movement, the development of railroads, advances in transportation networks across America, rise of cities, and agricultural developments. Frank Leslie's Weekly provides a rare look at Western frontier life through a variety of articles and illustrations. These vividly describe the hardships endured journeying west and making homes and communities on the frontier their hopes and fears, and most of all, their courage in the face of adversity are revealed. In addition, Native American life and culture, the emergence of the railroad, and the transformation of the frontier are chronicled in the pages of Frank Leslie's Weekly. You can read startling accounts of attacks on labor union members that precipitated the Haymarket riot, View photos of the 1906 Springfield, Ohio race riot, 
or research the Columbia Exposition in the pages of Frank Leslie's Weekly. Please note the diversity of topics that allow for use in a variety of subject disciplines. Leslie took hundreds of thousands of Americans to places they had never seen before. During his lifetime, Leslie provided the most earthy realism, sometimes more imagined than real, available in his day. Europe held a particular fascination in the pages of Frank Leslie's Weekly, reporting on the various monarchies, political intrigues, restlessness of ethnic minorities, emigration to America and Canada, industrialization, and economic and financial ups and downs. Asia and Latin America were also favorite reporting areas for Frank Leslie's Weekly. But there are many articles that relate to the British Empire worldwide, the war in South Africa, natural disasters and famine in China, expansion of American trade, and the rise of colonial empires. Please note the number of disciplines that can use Frank Leslie's Weekly to support the classroom, research, and general interest learning. Reference librarians, students, faculty, historians, and researchers using Frank Leslie's Weekly can trace the development of America in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Researchers interested in popular culture will find Frank Leslie's Weekly full of unique information covering every phase of America's evolution for over 70 years. This collection creates endless possibilities for new and more thorough research. This collection is an indispensable resource for any researcher of the 19th and early 20th centuries, and an excellent primary source providing fresh approaches for students of that period. Frank Leslie's Weekly provides unique perspectives on the issue of slavery, abolition, U.S. colored troops in the Civil War, the period of Reconstruction, and the rise of the Jim Crow era and racial separation. There are news stories on the Freedmen's Bureau, the rise of the KKK and their outrages, racial relations in the North and South, and Jim Crow laws. Frank Leslie's news stories and accompanying illustrations are a wealth of information about African American cultural life and history between 1855 and 1922. Through Frank Leslie's, you can examine the evolution and persistence of the notion of race, as well as the multiracial character of 19th century America. The Civil War was the defining experience in the development of the United States. No event directly affected a greater proportion of the nation's population. About 10% of Americans fought in the war, and more than 700,000 sacrificed their lives. America continues to struggle with the issues of race, civil rights, the politics of federalism, and the heritage that are legacies of the Civil War and Reconstruction. Frank Leslie's Weekly provides, through its news stories and illustrations, an unmatched depth of insight, the reasons individuals volunteered, the wonderment of leaving home, the excitement of initially going to the front, the clash of arms, the drudgery of camp life, the boredom of garrison duty, and the anguish of imprisonment are expounded in these accounts. Attitudes towards officers and fellow soldiers, the enemy, and political questions of the war are recorded with a richness that brings new credibility and perspective to scholarly research. 
During the Civil War, Frank Leslie's Weekly employed as many as 12 correspondents and 80 artists. And he published approximately 3,000 war pictures. He offered to publish war drawings by both Union and Confederate soldiers. Frank Leslie's Weekly brought readers the most vivid pictorial reports of war ever published. Frank Leslie's Weekly makes accessible to scholars and students documentation on the dimensions of immigration, immigrant communities, and America's efforts to control the flow from Europe and Asia. Students, faculty, and researchers will be presented with a variety of new stories on the causes of immigration, the social, cultural, and economic adaptation of various immigrant groups, the significance of race, the development of ethnic identities in America, changing American policy and attitudes towards immigrants and ethnic groups, and the impact of immigration and, et and ethnicity on American society and culture. In these news stories and accompanying illustrations and pictures, the user will understand the desperation of these immigrant arrivals who risk quarantine, arrest and return, exclusion, and even their lives for greater economic free opportunity and political freedom. A story as compelling as today's media reports of immigrants taking similar chances for similar rewards. In summary, Frank Leslie's Weekly chronicles the nation heading into the catastrophic conflict between North and South, the growth of industry, the rise of cities, and the movement westward. Our complete collection of Frank Leslie's Weekly means that you have access to the coverage of events such as the Spanish-American War and World War I, the 1896 presidential campaign when newspapers endorsed candidates for the first time, the Klondike Gold Rush of 1897, the continuing development of America's social and cultural mores, the beginnings of the Jazz Age, and so much more. Full text search capability allows the student and researcher to explore Frank Leslie's Weekly by using a single query. Our search screen is shown on this slide. Researchers can enter keywords in the text box at the top and apply filters specifying where terms can be found. Extra search boxes can be added by a single click, allowing users to construct more targeted searches. Search results can also be limited by dates of publication, which is useful for finding documents related to a specific historical period. Another way to target searches to Frank Leslie's Weekly, if you subscribe to other databases from accessible archives, is by publication title, as shown on this screen. Selecting newspapers and magazines is optional when the publication title is specified. Results can be sorted by date, publication, and collection. The sort method can be specified on the search page or changed on the results page. Other search tools, such as Proximity Search, are also available. I encourage you to review our extensive help documentation before constructing a complicated search. One way to access the full list of subscribed content is to browse the archives. Some of the content available is shown here. Frank Leslie's Weekly is part of our Newspapers and Magazines collection. This screenshot shows some of the results of a search for President Lincoln. Click to view an article or to see the keywords in context.
This is an example of an image from the original source material included in our databases. The retype text on the right hand side allows the reader the opportunity to easily read and search the text of a specific article. Frank Leslie's Weekly is a full text database with content that is encyclopedic in scope. It contains eyewitness accounts of historical events, daily life, and editorial observations. Transcribed entries come with full bibliographic citations and are organized chronologically, making it easy to conduct research, leaving more time for analysis. Our easy-to-use search engine and search tools allow patrons to conduct full text searches over our compilation of 18th and 19th century primary source materials, resulting in faster and more comprehensive research. Customers recognize Accessible Archive's distinctive collection of content and its commitment to making that content easily searchable for a variety of purposes, from local history and genealogical research to scholarly inquiries. Accessible Archive's collections are now in use by universities, historical societies, primary, middle, and secondary schools, individuals, and research libraries throughout the world. Our annual subscription option provides access to all databases for one year. Customers can track usage easily with fully counter compliant statistics. Permanent ownership allows you to buy the content that you need the most. And large databases are broken into affordable parts so that you can begin your collection with end of year or one time funds. You may budget ahead and, and have peace of mind from year to year. Our license agreement is crafted by, by librarians. This agreement protects the customer as well as the publisher. The collections available from Accessible Archives are shown on this slide. We offer a variety of services to our customers. Mark records are free to our customers. Usage reports are counter and sushi compliant. Federated search support and links are provided from EBSCO Discovery Service, OCLC WorldCat, Summon from Serial Solutions, Xlibris SFX and Primo, and Ship Index. You may keep in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and our blog at AccessibleArchives.com. Thank you for attending this Accessible Archives webinar. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Iris Haney, who leads Unlimited Priorities, an organization that represents Accessible Archives.